right so we're back at the van right i'm going to show you what i think i got so as you can see i'm still right at the back door now right on the blank canvas there it is all gone i've put a floor in although it's temporary it's temporary at the moment because i've got a couple of holes to fill underneath and then i'll fix it down and then i'll do this last bit down here right so the layout not all vans have got this shape to them this this quite this layout it's 11 foot front to back give or take an inch or two all right now the door doesn't the sliding door doesn't start right behind the frame next to the getting in door all right it's a little distance to it 21 inches behind right so i've got a 21 inch reveal if you like yes sir which means technically that could be it's a bit of a dead space but it could also be one of two things it could be a bench seat which has got access to the front where the dogs sleep or not sleep but hang out with me during the day when we're traveling or it could even be the log burner could go in that corner let me turn you around and show you okay now so as you see there's our door opening and there's our the remainder at the back which we can utilize for something so that what we call a reveal there right that's the, where the passenger seat was there that's come out and the dogs hang out there for me during the day i did have a platform there before but it's gone now temporarily so the thinking is this i'm going to put a screen up across the front here all right and it, but i'm going to have an opening in it there like a big window and then on the other side i can fix a flop down seat to it i never really carry passengers so that would be functional but it would have cushions there for the dogs during our day-to-day -day traveling now this side of the partition can be a bench seat there and that there underneath the window it's going to be a full length bed six foot six which takes me up to roughly about here somewhere give or take just in front of that wheel arch all right so i look on this bit if we stand out here i look on that bit as our living pod section all right so everything you need on a daily basis is in this first section right so that'll be a a single bed about three foot wide give or take because we're six foot across so maybe a bit less two six maybe that would probably be enough so it's a seat during the day and a single bed at night but a full length one now if i had that extended this way from there to there that's where the dogs can sleep and lie at night with me or uh, they can lay there during the day and look through where the hatch is going to be so they can still see us traveling where we are if i have a passenger okay then so i'm thinking i could screen off then a little bit here not a, a obvious partition because that shuts down the feel of space so the thinking is counter shelf here sort of waist height along there that bit there that effectively will be my kitchen area all right because all i'll need on it uh, for cooking i've got an induction hob and uh, i'm going to get an air fryer and that's all i need for eating on the road when i'm out and about the batteries are two leisure batteries and they will fit in this corner underneath the bed you very rarely need to visit them. So it's not that you need access to them all the times, but it would just be a removable panel underneath the bed if I ever need to get to them. Now, if I do everything like that on that side, that and everything I need can be there in that, what we're going to call kitchen area, all right? Underneath, tucked to this bottom corner, going that way, I've got a, a fridge freezer, a little fridge freezer, plug-in fridge freezer, but it's brilliant. And then this side can be left spacious. Although I will put a little counter there with maybe a couple of drawers in it 
or a couple of open spaces to store water bottles and stuff like that. All right, or water containers and stuff. All right, and tools, maybe a toolbox or something down there. So that will give the van overall a feel of space because there's nothing going up here, no cabinets or anything up here because it, you're claustrophobic. So instead of putting the log burner down here, where I was thinking I did have a mind off, I thought I could put it just here, just slightly coming out in front of the door, but not so it's intrusive. So when I'm on my seat here, my view is uninterrupted with the door open if it's a nice place to view, seaside views, beach views, main views, whatever they might be. So I've got, it makes me feel like I'm in the open. That's a big old wide opening, isn't it? Look, all right. And we're gonna be sitting just three feet from it. So that'd be good. Now, so we'd have an L-shape living room. Call it the living room, L-shaped, all right? So when you've got fellow campers out on the road, you're not sitting next to each other, shoulder to shoulder. You're sitting in an L shape and you can chat and talk and have a little drinky poos because we do like a little drinky poos when we're on the road. So that sort of works. So the log burner goes here, down by the door, maybe just a little bit into the opening, but not too much, which is on a platform. So it'd be about maybe two foot high. And if it's two foot high, Underneath will be a cabinet, open cabinet, where I'll store the logs and the firewood I need for the log burner. Right, chimney comes up, hole in the roof there. Over here, where I used to have a log burner three or four years ago, I got to block that one off. <coughs> the log burner didn't work last time because it was too big. So I'm talking about a mini one, a mini one there. Now this effectively is what I'll call your living pod. You sit on it, you sleep on it, your dogs are next to you on it, and your focal point when the door is shut is a, is a log burner with a window in it. It's got a window in it so you can see the flames. That's your log burner, that's, so that's quite warm. It's a cozy little place to be. Now, when this door closes, so, right, got plenty of light coming through that one light through this window is pretty good so there'll be curtains to go on that window and on this one i thought i'd put a big curtain rail from the solid part of the van not the door right across in front of the door to the solid part of the van the other side but it sits up there in hooks it's detachable so you can take that off during the day if you if when you don't need privacy or whatever because you've got the door open or you're traveling whatever and that then will transfer around to here. You take it off there and go click and click it onto a setup here somewhere, the same width. All right. So now, let's be a bit farther back. So now, uh, my living pod is separated from what might will be the kitchen area, a small kitchen area with storage underneath and stuff. And a series of drawers or openings or something for storing stuff so then i live i'm in this very compact but attractive little pod living pod i'm going to call it and that effectively is this the second room the spare room <laughs> nobody can go in it but you cook in it and you store your stuff in it and you've got a curtain down there you're nice and private all right. Also, it's good for insulation, so it retains heat into the one area you need it. Then, for entertainment, and then we'll just put a little framework there with some shelves and that on it, two or three shelves maybe, so you can see through, so you're not enclosed. No, you're not boxing yourself in or restricting your view. And on that, I can put a little projector. You know these uh, Bluetooth type projectors? So you watch Netflix, whereas at the moment, or up to now, I've been watching it on my phone, this, which is fine, but I thought I could improve that. 49 quid or something they are on Amazon. Little projector, Bluetooth, put Netflix on, send it to projector, and um, where I've got 
a screen, a, a partition here behind the driver's seat, a square of it or a section of it is going to be the TV, the projection screen, which is great, isn't it? So I can lie in bed and watch telly. Cool. And so I'm going to make this, this, the living pod part of it. I'm going to tongue and groove it. Use all the old tongue and groove I had because wood's so expensive, isn't it? So uh, I won't have to buy another load of wood. And behind that, I can do some of that here. But once I've boarded it up with very thin ply, very thin ply, I can just carpet it because it's not, it's not a fancy bit. It doesn't have to be fancy. That's basically it. And, and I can just store it. And if I get an electric bike or something in the future, I can just put it straight in. Boom between the two halves, because I've got a corridor that goes front to back. So in the second half of the corridor, it can be an electric bike, or I can put your stuff I don't really use on a day-to-day -day basis. But not over clutter, I can't stand clutter. So that's what I'm thinking. Will it work? I think so. Because under the bed, I'll have cabinets opening doors on the cabinets and that. And I just have plastic containers and put my clothes in that, or I have a carry bag usually. But your pots and pans and that will fit in the kitchen bit. But anything you want to store uh, can go under the, what we call the seating or bed L-shaped area. So that's the, that's the plan so far, but it may change. <laughs> Bear with me. <laughs> so, right, so the floor is down. I've got to take it up now and cover up some holes. Wish me luck. All right, so that's it. Right, so bye for now. Bye 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 bye.